Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Bernard Duyon and I'm so excited today that we're going to discuss not about finances. I'm going to discuss how I attain or how I reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So guys, this is my journey and I want to share it to you and I want to thank you sa lahat na nag-subscribe Nag-like, nag-share, nanood at nag-comment. Sumuporta sa channel ko. So, we hit that guys. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So, ano nga ba ang meron dito? So, are you ready? So, guys. Uh, Na-receive ko na yung notification that I was able, no, qualify na ako for the YouTube Partnership Program. Pero, it's not about yung na-reach mo. But, syempre, to be honest with all of you naman, iba rin yung ma-attain mo yung ganong uh, recognition ng YouTube. And, dyan kasi nagsisimula sa 1,000 watch uh, 1,000 subscribers at 4,000 watch hours. Dyan nagsisimula ma-monetize. So, of course, it, napaka-plastic ko naman ko hindi ko sasabing ginusto ko rin ma-monetize. But, it's more than that, more than a money. It's more than to be monetized. It's a completion, it's a fulfilling feeling na makapag-share. At ibig sabihin, dahil we reached that 1,000 plus subscriber, may tumatagkilig sa'yo at nagkakagusto doon sa, sa channel mo, sa message mo. So, ngayon, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ko na-reach yung 1,000. And this is real talk. This is how I encounter so. Kung bago ka at interested kang mag-join sa YouTube, mag-start ng vlog, here are some tips, real talk journey from zero knowledge and until I reach 4,000 watch hour and uh, 1,000 subscriber. At one good feeling kasi to, parang the best kasi by next, nagbago na naman ng regulations YouTube. By next year, I think that's next year effective, Eh, 10,000 subscriber na siya. It's so sad. And then, 5,000 watch hour. Alam nyo guys, yung 1,000 subscribers, nahirapan na ako. Yung 4,000 watch hour, sobrang hirap nun. Pero, mahirap, pero hindi imposible. And are we going to discuss it? So, paano pa next year? Kaya kung may plano ka mag-start mag-vlog, you better start now para ma-achieve mo na siya. So, here's my tip. Are you ready? So, go! So, kung gusto mong talagang mag-start, mag-vlog, you better start now. And because next year, as I mentioned, iba na ang requirement ni YouTube. Mahirap na siyang i-attain. Medyo challenging but hindi imposible. Pero, eto yung mga naranasan ko. And here's my tip in my journey to reach that 4,000 watch hour and 1,000 subscriber. So, if you're ready, here it goes. Tip number one, start with what you have. Kung gusto mo, simulan mo. You don't need to be a, have a perfect timing, full of knowledge to start something with. And this is not applicable only sa, hindi lang siya applicable sa YouTube, sa buhay. Kung may gusto ka, simulan mo, gawin mo. Because along the way, along the journey, you will learn something and Sobra, ang dami kong natutunan from zero knowledge about YouTube up to now, still learning and eh, sobrang ganda lang. At I start 2013, pero yung 2013 na yun, if you will check my channel, wala talagang kwento, kahit ano lang, walang content, wala. But last year, October, I decided instantly, sabi ko mag-start na ako mag-vlog. And you know what, guys? Nagsimula ako, pinakaunang taong in-interview ko, ginawa ko ng vlog, is si Mr. Randall Tiongson. If you don't know him, siya lang naman ang financial guru o financial personal finance coach. And he is one of my mentor. Madalas na siyang nai-interview sa mga big television network. Pero imagine, pumayag siyang ma-interview ko using only May mobile. As in, mobile lang. Walang microphone, walang ilaw, lahat. And sobra, kung mapapanood mo, I will put the link 
interview with Mr. Randall Chong so kung paano sobrang ang lakas ng kaba ko first time kong magbablog hindi ko alam yung mga itatanong ko sa kanya sobra but again pute pumayag siya and you know guys may mga taong madali mo makahausap because they support you and it's better kailangan mo lang i-approach and if you want to do something if you want if you're dreaming for something better start with what you have along the way improve yourself kasi kapag sinimula mo ng perfect na baka wala ka nang ma-improve baka maglato ka na doon tip number two, find your niche kailangan pag nag-youtube ka alam mo kung ano yung gusto mo kung hindi mo pa alam okay lang yun you try to experiment but along the way kailangan may, may isa kang niche ano ba talaga yung gusto mong topic If you will notice my blog, if you notice in my channel, it's more about investing. It's more about stock market. Why? Yun yung passion ko eh. I'm a registered financial planner. I'm a stock trader. I'm a stock investor. And I'm financial advocate. So yun yung ginagawa ko. That's why my focus is on that area. Pero kung hindi mo pa alam, and then it's okay. Focus on something. Try to experiment. Pero make sure, guys, people will follow if they learn something. Dapat kapag gagawa ka ng YouTube account, ng video mo, ng vlog mo, may takeaway silang matututunan. They will be inspired or they will be entertained. So sayang naman kung wala silang natitakeout. Paano sila babalik sa'yo? So, dapat alamin mo kung ano yung gusto mo. It's not really na master mo na siya. But what really passionate about? Kung ano yung passionate ka, gawin mo siya. So tip number three. Ding, 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 ding. Focus on original content. Sa YouTube, madali kang mahuli kapag ka may copyright ka, kinopya mo yung content, yung music. And guys, sa YouTube, tatlong beses ako na copyright. And hindi ko alam na copyrighted siya because... Una, yung music, sumasayaw yung binidyohan ko, eh, nakaka-copyright yung soundtrack. So, copyright yun. So, you need to do original content. So, kung gusto mo ng travel vlog, find something na yung mga soundtrack mo, mga background music mo, is original. Or, kung gusto mo naman ng ganito, na nagsasalita, learning, better not to Uh, put uh, additional music na hindi naman copyright. Number four tips is make your own branding. Dapat may sarili ka ng brand. So, kapag nakita nila yung channel mo, alam na nila na tumatak po sa isip nila. Kung kunyari, si Burn to Be You is more on finance, stock market, investing. So, yun kagad. Kung gusto mo ng passion din, kailangan yung ginawa mong channel, eh yun ang maaalala sa'yo. So, hindi siya basag-basag. So, kailangan may branding ka. Kailangan alam ng tao kung ano ba talaga ang gusto mong iparating. Mula sa branding, kailangan pag gumawa ka ng thumbnail, associated sa topic mo. So, huwag kang gagawa ng... And to be honest with you guys, I'm not a talented sa mga design na yan. Medyo struggle din ako dyan. Pero along the way, nat nakukuha ko na yung technique na paano yung thumbnail mo maging catchy. Branding also includes, paglagay pa lang ng title ng vlog mo, kailangan catchy na siya. So, you need to build your own brand. So, pag nakita nila yung channel mo, ah, eto si Burn to be you. Personal finance yan, investment yan, financial lang mostly topic niyan. So, nandoon yung pagiging uh, identity mo. Kailangan ma-build mo agad yung identity mo. And tip number five, 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 five. Kailangan maging consistent ka. Imagine nagbi-build ka ng subscriber. So, this subscriber pinapalo ka because they get something, they got interested sa isang vlog mo, sa isang channel mo. They they want you to They want them na parang gusto nila may matututunan sila, may ma 
Titake out sila and aabangan kanila. Then, paano ka nagpo-post? Once a month? Minsan wala pa? So, at least be consistent. If kaya mong maging weekly, then weekly. If kaya mong maging daily, then daily. If kaya mong twice a week, then twice a week. At least your subscriber, your follower consistently know na meron kang panibagong ipopost. Consistent, persistent, and dapat may patience ka rin. Kasi it will take time para maaprobahan ka. And number six is find a mentor or find a support group. Guys, dito ako medyo nahirapan. Kasi in a circle of friends na meron ako and may family, eh hindi naman mga vloggers. Wala ako halos kilalang vloggers. So what I did, I searched sa Facebook, group about vloggers, group about YouTubers, and sobra palang dami nila. So I joined maybe dalawang grupo sinalihan ako. And then I start asking them. So at first, yes, honestly, hindi ko naman i-deny. Nakipag-sub to sub din naman ako. Pero during that time, habang nakikipag-sub to sub ako, it's not only exchanging. Yung sub to sub wala for information ng mga bago. Is yung ex-deal. Mag-subscribe ka sa channel ko, I will subscribe to your channel. So ganun yun nag-usap. Pero I noticed na hindi siya magiging effective na ganun. Kasi hindi mo sila magiging repeat customer. But what I did, I found, I found some, uh, look for someone na nakareach na ng 1,000 subscriber, nakareach na ng 4,000 subscriber, and then I asked them for, for help, I asked them for advice. So in short, I asked them to mentor me. So it, not literally I asked them, but na i-mentor mo ako. No, hindi. Ask question. Paano mo na-reach yan? Paano mo na-reach to? Paano ka naging successful? So guys, hindi ako nakipag-deal sa big deal na tao kasi una, mahihirapan akong alamin yung journey niya. Pero I always deal with one step higher than me. So, paano ka nakarating dyan? Nandito ako, at least alam niya pa yung journey ko. Makaka-relate siya. So, then, tanong ulit. So, guys, your family loves you, your friends will loves you, pero pagdating sa mga bagay na hindi nila alam, paano ka rin nila matutulungan? So, I, I, I give you this logic. Tignan mo kung ilan ang friends mo sa Facebook. Lahat ba yun magsasubscribe? Hindi naman. Kasi iba dyan, walang YouTube account, yung iba busy. Pero, hindi ka kasi mag stay doon. At hindi nila naiintindihan kung ano yung passion mo, kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. So, find someone. Look for other uh, mentor, look for other support group na makakaintindi doon sa ginagawa mo. And then, help each other to join you. And lastly, guys, enjoy the journey and be patient. 4,000 watch are hindi po madali. 1,000 subscriber, medyo madali pa nga yung 1,000 subscriber. Eh. Pero yung 4,000 watch are, this is most challenging. Paano pa, excuse me, <laughs> paano pa next year na 5,000 watch are na siya? So guys, enjoy mo the journey. Along the journey, enjoy and learn from it. So, habang may enjoy ka, you focus on how you can improve yourself. And, tulad na sinabi ko, it's not about finances, but YouTube is one channel to grow yourself, develop your confidence, and explore your skill. And also, kapag nagawa mo na yun, it can be also a source of income. Maybe at the start, hindi naman ganun kalaki. Pero as you develop, as you create or master your skill, it can be a big deal. Marami ng YouTuber na malaki ang income and they make it as a living. So guys, once again, this is Bernard Duyon. At kung bago ka sa channel ko, kung nag-enjoy ka naman, huwag mo naman pabayang hindi ka mag-like at mag-subscribe sa channel ko. At kung nag-subscribe ka na, then share it to others, lalo na kapag gusto niya ng mag-start sa YouTube. Guys, this is Bernard Duyan nagsasabing, bawat Pilipino may kakayahang umasenso. God bless you guys.